Welcome to 5MinutesTutorials.com. This will be another Pathfinder and Align Palette uh, demonstration tutorial. I'm going to once again just create a couple shapes using my shape tool. I'm going to make a, a rectangle tool just like so and then switch to my ellipse tool. I'm going to control click to deselect uh, the red shape there. Change the color by double clicking and going to a blue color and now uh, going to my ellipse tool I'm going to create an ellipse. This particular technique I call the cookie cutter technique. Oftentimes what I need to do is I need to create a fancier shape so that way I can use it like a cookie cutter. So let me show you what that means. I'm going to use now this uh, ellipse here to create a uh, shape that will be relatively difficult to use the to create using the pen tool. So I'm going to create um, just a little notch cut out, out of this particular shape here. So I'm going to select both of them and using my pathfinder I'm going to minus the front leaving just this little complex shape here in the back. Uh, once again using the uh, ellipse tool I'm going to hold down the shift key make a smaller circle there. Let's change the color of it and bring that once again here. Select both of them and minus the front again. So now I've got this much more complex shape here and just so you know that uh, you can do just about anything you want with these with this technique I'm going to rotate and just select this shape, rotate it, and once again just overlap it just like so. Select both shapes and minus the front once again. So I've got a really complex shape here. Now what I would do with something like that is then come back through and uh, use this complex shape that I have to go modify or edit something else. So for example uh, right inside of here I'm going to arrange this by bringing it to the front that's under uh, object arrange bring to front and now that I have this nice complex shape you see I can use that shape and I'm going to use the divide option here so I click divide and now I have a group control shift G to ungroup it and now I can actually pull out each one of these individual shapes you see and now what that left me is this a nice complex shape here and I can continue using any one of these here so I'm going to select both of these and then minus the front now you see I've got a much more interesting shape here. Now this is rather abstract I know in the demonstration but the whole purpose of this is to demonstrate that if you can think a little bit different uh, in your workflow. In other words think of how can I use different complex shapes to create a cookie cutter shape that then I can use to punch out the shapes that I actually need for my logo or logo mark or other graphic that you're trying to create. I find that to be a lot more uh, useful than trying to create complicated shapes with the pen tool, um, particularly anytime that you have perfect curves. Hopefully you found this helpful and will give you some new ideas for your workflow. And thanks again for watching. This is 5MinuteTutorials.com. The best compliment we can always get is a referral. Thank you and enjoy.